another song. That's twelve nineteen ninety five, I reckon. It actually came out a year earlier, nineteen ninety four, when Bill Holmes, the Seattle inventor, brought it to the attention of the New York Times Fair. Sits in midair for about three minutes if it's in air, or sometimes fifteen minutes if it's in vacuum. There's a North Pole, a very strong one, round hidden in the base there, all round the outside in a ring, and a weak centre south pole in the centre, so it's rather like a cushion with a dimple. Here are three little extra tricks you can do with this thing now that you've had a play with it yourselves. You place a little propeller blade on top. This is tricky. And it spins beautifully. I made it from very light origami paper. Take it off. The second trick is a large pair of scissors, and I pretend there's a invisibly fine cord going from there up to the ceiling. So I go snip, 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 snip. And it appears to cut the cord, but it's not actually. What it's doing is interfering with the magnetic field. And the third trick is Betty Byers' time. You set it up again, set it spinning, and then introduce the lids in which you've hidden a magnet. There's a magnet hidden in there, or a bunch of keys in your hand, or something large and metallic. And then you say, here we are, Betty Byers' time, and it pops in the box. Three little tricks with the magnet, with the, with the Levitron. A very fine toy, this one.